Lopez. Okay. Lopez. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for coming here. Welcome to Canada. Thank you. The question I have to ask is about the Integrity Commission yes. and the follow up on what it disclosed with regard to illicit. We don't feel comfortable sitting in Parliament with a Minister of Government who has openly accepted responsibility, who expresses no regret for the Act, where a Commission of Parliament has confirmed that the Act is corrupt and has referred it for prosecution, and that Minister shows no sign of wanting to resign or the Prime Minister showing no signs of moving to dismiss the minister. With all the sympathy that one can have for support, this is embarrassing, not only to the government as a, a, a party, not only the PNP, but to the government, to Jamaica, to all of us, our heads bow this morning with this sort of reaction to it. So we have to take firm actions in this regard. It is a dark day for Jamaica where the Prime Minister is unwilling or afraid to act against a minister in which the public has lost total confidence and in which the institutions of the society are all agree that this person does not enjoy their trust or faith and has breached the confidence that the people have placed in them. Peter Lopez, okay. thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for coming here. Welcome to Canada. Thank you. The question I have to ask is about the Integrity Commission and the follow up on what it disclosed with regard to illicit enrichment. Because if we in Oversee don't have an opportunity <laughs> to share with you that we do see it. And by the way, I have a home in Germany. We never sell it. We still have it. It is doing well, but I'm asking you, sir. We are very, very concerned about the recent revelation. And we are asking the government, your government, the next government of Jamaica, what are we going to do about it? Um, Time. One person went to jail Time. because he stole some money. Mr. Lopez, time. All right. Should I answer that? Should I stand up and answer? What is up to you? What yeah. is your problem? What, what them can ask me at the back? Which one? Yeah, I'll stand up. Which one? Yeah. As you heard when I spoke, I believe that the people must have trust and confidence in their leaders, and the leaders have to earn that trust. And part of that is creating an architecture, creating structures in the society that culminated when I was a Minister of Justice, because we had a system before where, where there were several agencies that were dealing with different aspects of it. They weren't talking to each other, they weren't talking to any law enforcement agencies, and it was ineffective. So we redesigned that, we looked at best practice across the world, we took the things that we thought had worked well elsewhere, and we designed our own system, which is what is in the Integrity Commission Act. Not perfect, it will need reform and adjustment over time, but it has some significant powers. It has power to prosecute people for corruption offenses, which did not exist before. It has power to share information with other agencies, in tax agencies, law enforcement agencies, and it has power to receive information from them as well. Before they were operating in silos, now they can share information. They can also share information with similar bodies and receive information from similar bodies outside of Jamaica. So it's a very powerful tool. Now illicit enrichment is an offense under Jamaican law. It's a corruption offense. It is in section, I think it's 14.5 of the Corruption Prevention Act. And essentially what it means is you have assets and wealth that your income that you have declared, your lawful income, could never support that. 
So you, and then you have an obligation when asked by the Integrity Commission to explain how you acquire those assets. You have to satisfy them that you did so lawfully. And if you can't satisfy them that you did so lawfully, that's an offense. And it's a serious offense. Now, unfortunately, the Prime Minister was under investigation for arising from his annual filings, because all parliamentarians in Jamaica and public servants earning above a certain threshold have to file a declaration each year with the Integrity Commission declaring all their assets, all their debts, and their income. And they look through it and they investigate it um, and, and look into it. And when they looked into his, they, they were not satisfied. And they decided to investigate him for illicit enrichment. The problem is that he, this became known, not that he was under investigation, but that there were six persons, six members of parliament, who were under investigation for this enrichment. And this was known because in the annual report of the Integrity Commission, which is sent to Parliament, they said there are six members of Parliament who are under investigation for this enrichment. Everybody said, who are these people? Who are these people? They will not disclose that until their report goes to Parliament on each of those cases. The law doesn't allow them to say anything about it until they report to the Parliament. So it was a big thing. Now the Prime Minister knew from August 2023, and even before actually, based on the report that has come out now, that he was under investigation. He did not disclose it, even though it was a huge issue in the country. And even when asked subsequently, he fudged the answer and did not disclose that he was under it. Now, to my, then, in September, I think it was this year, the report came to Parliament for him. And it said, yes, he's under, under investigation. Furthermore, the Integrity Commission could not conclude their investigation because some information that they asked him to provide, he refused to provide. And so they said that they recommended referring the matter to the Financial Investigations Division of the country, which is a financial crimes investigator. We're on the Glasgow to Great Hill Main Road today. Our citizens have been complaining about this road for the last five years. And I can honestly say to you, myself and Councillor Littleton, we are here today. Nothing here is from the state. No money from the from state funds. There's no funds here. Myself and Councillor Littleton, Ian Hills here, your next member of parliament. Your next member of parliament is one that will give you the action that you deserve and the work that you deserve here in Western Westmoreland. So for five years you've been complaining about the road from Glasgow to Grangel via Tolkien. I don't have the funds to barber green this road because that is the responsibility of the government and the member of parliament. No. The government, the JLP government, no. So we are here today because we have heard your cry. I have heard your cry. And I'm here, I'm here today with an equipment in ensuring that we can play the dog, mile it for you. Get rid of some of these swimming pools that is on this road. So we're going to play it up, we're going to work on it. I can assure you that when I become your next member of parliament, I'm going to ensure that you have a road here where the car can skate on, where we can skate on, where we can drive comfortable. If you wash your car, you can drive on this road and don't worry about the dust inside. Nothing. When I become member of parliament, I will ensure that I fix the problems that we have here. You have here, the citizens, in the Grangel space and in the entire constituency of Western Westmoreland. Mm -hmm. Other men wants to make a way. On this road, skate, I skate with it. From skate. Glasgow to Green Hill, skate. From Glasgow to Green Hill, skate. From Glasgow to Green Hill, skate. You do it already? I'm going to do it again. You Guess do it what? already? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Time come. Time come. Time come. Time come. Time come. I'll come ready and yell. And so, a quick question, my people. Why do they have to take money from their pockets?
to be fixing the roads for the citizens to use when they are not even the persons in the government. But people who don't take it light, you know, when see Ian Hills out there working, 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 he says that he is the everyday performer. Time come. If you believe that time come, my people, for if we kick to the curb, kick out our parliament, those who are illicitly enriching themselves, kick out a parliament, those who are in contempt with the court, kick out a parliament, the high levels of corruption, kick out a parliament, wasting of taxpayers' money. I'm going to drop on the comments and make me hear what I say, my people. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Big up to all returning subscribers. Big up to the new subscribers. Get this video to at least 3,000 likes, my people. Notification shout out goes to Andy Bryan. Big up yourself, Andy Bryan. Thanks for the continued support from each and everyone. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourself. <laughs>